everyone. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today, we got a couple things to do. We gotta work on some bikes. I gotta show you guys a shop because we've been pumping. And then we're gonna stop by Coastline and show you what we've been doing over there. You guys, stay tuned. Oh my God, look at Billy's bike is back in here again. He loves just breaking the shit. He went to the Speedway the other day. I told him, don't go on the track with the bike. They, everyone was calling me over there saying, tell him not to take the bike on the track. And I was like, don't take the bike on the track. And next I know it, bike is on track. And um, so we blew out a couple of things on here. We definitely we broke the exhaust bracket. So we gotta fix that. Um, pressure release valve blew out. Back tire is gone. We might as well give her a tune-up from getting abused. He lost the key to it as well. Thanks, Billy. Thank you very much for all the extra work. We'll have her done by the end of the week and uh, we'll have her out there doing some tricks again. And we got a cool bike right here. It's a classic Road King. We're just doing a couple of small things. Uh, we're finishing her up. We're almost done. We're just um, doing some troubleshooting on some air ride. Air ride's not working properly. So get that done and then get this thing out of here. But as you guys can see, these bikes are looking pretty spiffy right now because they're on the new lifts. Look at these lifts. Oh my gosh. Shout out to Black Widow. They got the lifts finally in. It's taking the shop to a whole next level. I haven't really got to use them yet to just to be 100, but we'll get you guys a full detail on how they work, what they do, and why you guys should get them. We have a bike right here, just a wide glide. A customer came in for an oil change and um, this was his new bike. He was a previous customer with a different bike. When we just did the oil change, the whole primary is like it fell on its side and they had it like gasket glue all inside of it. It was all like, it wasn't done right. And we told him we'll bring it up to par, man. Just give us a couple days. So typically don't have bikes sitting here waiting on parts because the way we set it up, but there was no way for him to leave and um, it'd be safe, you know? So we'll take it upon ourselves to make this thing right. This one right here is extreme. As you can see, it looks like a mess right now. We are ripping through this. This is just a test rim right here, but we're making everything fit right here. We're working on this chin spoiler, um, making that work out right, um, doing a fitment on it, you know, shaving anything that we need to shave and then just get it ready for paint and powder coat. This tank right here, we're getting fitment on it right now. It's a lot, a lot of work. This is a road glide and we're doing like a full build on it. There's not gonna be like, we're just tearing it apart. We all we use was the drivetrain engine. Drivetrain, uh, I meant we just use the drivetrain, the frame and um, the wire harness on it. Everything else is coming off. <laughs> Bike, the problem, the problem solver. That that one, problem solver. Yeah, senior solution. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So uh, we had we needed a bracket built, and this is our fab guy. So all these little one-off trinkets and all the cool shit. Spike. So. AKA Isaac. Isaac. Yeah. Well, it's nicknamed Spike. AKA Spike. <laughs> yeah. Call me what you want. Call, it no, what call want. me the problem solver. That's I thought yeah, better. Yeah, I was yeah, that was a nice one. Yeah. So we needed a bracket uh, for a front mount compressor. So right underneath the soft tail, you have your voltage regulator, and then we're gonna be having we have a compressor mount that's gonna be custom. So you'll be able to mount your compressor right up front, and it'll be hidden nice and secure. Uh, we need it just for a one-off build, and we might as well design the part and, and manufacture it. So took it to the next level with this guy. Boom. Voltage regulator, pump, it'll be mounted onto the bike. Super sleek, super smooth. Super sick, appreciate you. Undercover, undercover. So I'm gonna leave the hardware for it, I'll be back. Um. Damn, that hurt! What up, we're back. Thanks for tuning back in. 
Um, back with the part from the laser guy, custom made one off piece. Um, thought process of what goes into this, what Mikey thinks of, is every location, uh, hole, um, slot, everything goes through his head, gives it to me, and we're back with it. See what we can do. So shout out to our laser guy. He came through in the clutch. I just dry fitted it right now. Um, I told him what I wanted, basically designed, you know, me and Mike designed it. Plots are perfect for what we're doing. What I'm doing now is just gonna, it's gonna have a contour, a bend, an angle on it. So I just wanna, you know, just nice and easy, give it a little degree on it. You know what I mean? Take a step back, look at it. I'm ultimately gonna have to put it on the bike just to check it out, see what's up, but that's, what, that's how it's done. There you have it. Not a finished product, but a product nonetheless. The uh, air condenser is uh, mounted to this bracket here. Mounted it to this little uh, bottom section. Voltage regulator on top. This will mount to the uh, casing on the bike, the lower casing. There you go, one off custom piece. Welcome, bro. Thank Welcome, you, brother. Man. Appreciate, Appreciate it, all man. the support, bro. Of Hell course, yeah. Of course. Tell everybody what's up and who you are. Chuck, New York City, Red Room MC. Um, right. Coming to hang out with Mikey Loco, man. Hell yeah. See if you could do some uh, some magic for me. Oh, definitely, man. <laughs> we got you. I send you my love and many blessings, brother. I appreciate it. Really do, yeah. man. I appreciate the fact that, you know, you are another example of a goodness that's in our community. That's right. You know, the progress that we make. So. Definitely, man. I thank, I thank you for what you do. And Hell yeah, I appreciate it. Work and living a dream, brother. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm pushing. <laughs> I'm grinding over here. He's doing his thing, Lou. And I'm proud of you. Next time I'm in LA, I come check you out. Yeah, you know? hell yeah. And uh, I'll be at my little 10 speed bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna ride, you're not gonna ride. You're scared of bikes. You're not gonna ride a motorcycle, Lou? No, probably. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, make, make sure you stop by next time when you're in LA. For sure, my yeah, hell have yeah. A wonderful day, and again, thank you. You too, man. Thank you. Know, you. Thank you for what you do. Hell yeah. Okay, we'll talk. I'm gonna, I, I, I'm gonna be back. Michael came to visit. He said that he, he needed some motivation <laughs> on how to work hard, so he came over here to watch me. guys it's a wrap got this job done took us about five weeks it went from one thing to another Mikey wanted drains Mikey wants a toilet Mikey wanted all this stuff he wanted trees it went from being just concrete to making this thing into a paradise you guys can see these key palms right here these shits were not easy to install took some real muscle and a lot of manpower we didn't have no machines for these these are the FX fixtures right here Color changing fixtures. He's gonna be able to <clears throat> operate them through his phone, change them any color he wants. So this place is gonna look really dope at nighttime. We had a nice touch to the front. <clears throat> Poured this whole concrete side right here. It was all dirt at once. Same thing, up lights. It's gonna give this shop a real pop when you drive by. Planning for the future. Mike is gonna have a toilet. He's gonna have a bathroom with a sink. So we left all the sewer lines exposed, making it easy for him to install. <clears throat> Same with the concrete. We left it smooth. So when they later apply the epoxy, it's gonna be an easy application. So, so there you have it guys, Delgado's Landscaping. Special thanks to Mikey, Dirtbags. Thanks for hiring us, brother. Appreciate you, homie. Delgados came through. I appreciate you, my boy. You came through, brother. Appreciate hell you, yeah, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Finish your touches on the back, man. Finish your touches on the back, definitely, please. 
I cannot wait to finish this construction. You guys see a day in the life of Mikey Loco and Dirtbag's team. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay up. We'll see you Hardest next week. Hardest worker in the industry right here, baby. That's right. Mikey Loco.